Alright, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the best exotic car in ERLC in 2023. So if you do enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. So, I did make this video quite a while ago, but since then we've had like three extra exotic cars, which is really, really good actually. So I'm going to be going through all of them. So we now have six in the game uh, and they are here. So we have the Chevron Corbetta TZ, the Chevron Corbetta 8, we have the Falcon Heritage, the 2017 Avantismo R8, the Silhouette Carbon, and then the Strugati Etor, I think that's how you say it. This is obviously, obviously, we all know what these cars are, Ford GT, Audi R8, Lamborghini Adventador, and obviously a Bugatti. So we're going to start off obviously with the cheapest one of them all. You can also see the speed here. So you can see that they do kind of sort of increase the higher you go. Obviously these two are pretty much the same. And then obviously this one is a little bit lower, but we'll talk about that uh, as well later. So let's spawn in the Chevron Corbetta TZ, I think it is, or T1. So you can see this car looks really, really nice. Now, a few years ago, um, this car was really, really bad. It was one of the worst cars in the game. Not because it was slow, but because it got stuck everywhere. It was really, really glitchy. But since then, they have fixed it. As you can see, you can now drive up and drive around and you won't get stuck anywhere. So this car is now a really, really good car. Now, the top speed on this, we'll test out. So we'll head down over to the highway. We might run out of fuel. But the top speed of this one is actually decent. So if we come all the way down here, we should be able to reach the top speed from all the way down here, to be honest. But let's see. So you can see already over 120. You can see the top speed is 151, pretty much. So this car, top speed of 151, it looks pretty good, to be honest. Um and I really like this spoiler at the back as well. This is one of the older cars though. This has been in the game for many, many years. The other ones are kind of newer ones. Uh, so yeah, this one is really, really nice. It's still available to buy, obviously. Um, and yeah, I really, really like this car in my opinion, but let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is the Chevron Corbetta 8. Now, personally, I do really, really like this car. I think it looks incredible. Obviously, it's one of the much newer models. I think it's one of the newest cars we've got in ERC recently. So really, really good. Um, um, and I, I really like this one, as I've said, I think it looks really nice, the speed is really good. I would like one of these cars from Hero Life as well, obviously, but I'm not that rich, so rip. But let's test out the top speed on this one, it's pretty good. So the Corvette before was 151 miles an hour. I think this one is a little bit faster, but I'm not sure on that. So yeah, we can see top speed on this one is 157 miles per hour. So again, pretty good. It is quite a good top speed, that is, to be honest. And like I said, this car looks really, really good. Now, obviously, I don't know exactly how it works. And I don't know the prices of it, and I can't tell because I own them all. And sadly, it doesn't tell you the prices of cars you already own. But I think they go in price order. So I think this one is slightly more expensive than the uh, one we just saw, obviously. And it's faster, so it would make sense sense to plus it's newer it looks nicer and all that kind of thing now we've got the falcon heritage now this one has a couple of issues or it did have a couple of issues the speed of this car last year was really really bad like it, i think it was it was slower than a car that i think was thirty thousand dollars and this is about six hundred thousand dollars if i remember correctly so yeah look you can see 132 miles per hour is the top speed of this car so it still is really really bad it's six hundred thousand dollars and the top speed of it is 132 miles per hour there's some cars in this game that are like thirty thousand dollars and have a top speed of like 150 so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna I'm gonna go back to civilian spawn, spawn in a really, really cheap car and show you the speed comparison, right? So if we come back over here, run over to here, here we go. So the Elysian Slick, right? This is like $30,000. I'm not sure if this has been changed now, but this was actually like one of the fastest vehicles in ERLC and it's also one of the cheapest. So let's go and see if this car is faster than the Falcon Heritage. I honestly really, really hope it's not. I really, really hope they fixed it, which yes, they have. Okay, it now only goes 107 miles per hour, which is very, very good. But still, this is $30,000. The Falcon Heritage is $600,000 and it only goes like 20 miles per hour faster. So that is not worth it at all. When the Corvette we showed before is like half of the price of the Falcon Heritage and it's literally faster. So I guess you pay for looks for this car. It does look 
great, don't get me wrong, but definitely, definitely, definitely not worth the price. Let me know what you think about this car in the comments below. Let me know, let me know if you think the developers should change it so it's a bit faster and a bit more realistic. I'm not sure the exact top speed of this car. I'm not sure if the top speeds of these cars in game are exact to real life, but who knows. But let's just out the Audi R8 now. So this one is one of my favorite cars in the game currently. I really, really like it. And you can see it looks incredible, really, really detailed. Again, one of the newer ones, but let's test out the top speed on this and see what it can get to. So I really, really hope it's faster than the Falcon Heritage. Honestly, I hope it's faster than the Corvette as well, but it's not. You can see down here, 146 miles per hour is the top speed of this car. That again is quite disappointing. Like, you know, this is, I think it's, I, d I don't know if it's more expensive or a little bit cheaper, but let's go with a similar price to the Falcon Heritage. Right, so, you know, something like, so maybe like 500, 600, 700,000, and to be honest, the Falcon Heritage might not even be 600,000, but I think it's something like that. I know it was, so whether they've changed that or not, I do not know, but like I said, Audi R8 is very, very good. You can see the speed here. It says that the Falcon Heritage is the same speed as the uh, Corvette or Chevron Corvette 8. I know it's horsepower, but that is what people use to refer to as the speed for these cars. Generally, the higher the horsepower, higher the speed. And you can see, even though these are the same, the Falcon Heritage is nowhere near like that fast. So I would really avoid the Falcon Heritage, but obviously that's your choice. Now the next one is the Lamborghini. Now this one, has some controversial. So this car has been removed from ERC, but it's also not. So this car, if you bought this car, like before a few months ago, you still have it. But if you didn't buy this car, then unfortunately you no longer own it. So Roblox had some massive issues with Lamborghini and people like copying their cars and stuff. So they no longer, so they no longer allow Lamborghinis in most Roblox games. You'll know Greenville, Southwest Florida, and ERLC, loads of other major games have removed their Lamborghinis. And that's for Roblox copyright, which I think is really disappointing, but I like ERLC on the fact that if you already bought it, you still own it. So let's just start the top speed here. As you might have seen, we're getting 160 here. So yeah, 163, 4, 5, 165 is kind of the top speed here. So that is really, really good to be honest. That's a good speed, 165 miles per hour. I think it's about 700, 800, maybe $900,000 for this Lamborghini, which is quite expensive, but you're getting definitely a good speed for it. So we've run out of fuel. Let's just quickly drive back to civilian spawn. Here we go, perfect. Um, but yeah, 165, I think we got there. Very, very good. But now let's, let's move on to the Bugatti, which is obviously the most expensive car in the game, $1.5 million. Uh, and let's give this a speed test. As you can see, this looks really really nice i really really like the spoiler on this um so let's see what speed we can get on this this car obviously 1.5 million dollars you want a lot of speed it definitely feels faster accelerating and as you can see top speed is 170 so the thing is i always 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 say is don't buy the bugatti unless you literally have like millions to spare don't buy it buy the lamborghini the bugatti is only five miles per hour faster than the Lamborghini, yet it's double the price. So you're paying $700,000 or $800,000 even for five miles per hour extra speed. Like, is that really worth it to you? I personally don't think so at all, but obviously it's very good for flexing. Like if you wanna say, oh yeah, I have the baguette, then you know, like you can, and you can flex that you have it because it is a really, really, really nice car to have. But speed wise, it's only five miles per hour faster. So if you buy this, right, you can also buy like this, and this and then you have like three exotic cars and that's really really cool or you can just buy this and get one car that's five miles per hour faster whereas like if this gets impounded or if it's damaged or if it's got like got no fuel or anything then you have to use like one of your really really cheaper cars that you own whereas if you have this one and it gets damaged or no fuel or impounded or whatever then you've still got these two exotic cars which you can use which are obviously really really good so in my opinion the best exotic car that you currently can buy even though you can't buy the Lamborghini may add obviously because that's been removed so obviously that thing about buying the Lamborghini um, compared to buying the two Corvettes and the Bugatti obviously you can't buy a Lamborghini 
So you kind of have to buy like the Audi R8 and then these two, which obviously is still okay. The Audi R8 is still great. But obviously the Bugatti is a bit more worth it now because, um, you know, you can't buy the Lamborghini anymore. So I guess if you want that really, really high amount of extra speed, then I would recommend the Bugatti. But obviously it's a lot, a lot, a lot of money. So personally, I would say the best exotic car currently in ERC is either the Chevron Corbetta 8 just here or the 2017 Advantismo R8. I think they're both really, really good cars. And then third, probably the Stugati at all and the fourth probably the chevron called better tz again that's nothing that's just because i personally don't like the look of this car i think it looks quite old and kind of stuff like that but it is a very fast car so if you just want speed absolutely go for it but other than that that is going to be all for this video as i said so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please do make sure you drop a like and also subscribe uh, but hopefully i will see you in my next one bye